All right, what's up guys? So today, just a little catch-up video. Got a lot done, but it's not all together. So just gonna throw a bunch of stuff together, kinda show you what I'm up to, get you caught up so we can get back on schedule this week. One of the things I did was threw this uh, rotisserie together, or weld positioner, I guess you call it. This thing's pretty slick. Uh, this is by weldtables.com, some people that made the table. And yeah, pretty simple. It's got a pin. Pull this pin out. You can position this thing any way you need to. Just attach the drill right here. Let's put a drill on this bad boy. And it actually has this Velcro strap that comes with it. Basically you just wrap this around the trigger. You kind of hold it at whatever speed you want to. And all you gotta do is put whatever on there you wanna weld. And then, yeah, just. The other thing obviously is the bibster. You guys probably seen where it was stripped. Um, and maybe one of my last videos, you didn't actually see where it was stripped or how I stripped it. Like I said, I just used some of that aviation stripper, put it on there, let it sit, hose it off. Well, let me give you a look. I'll show you what I'm talking about. From what I hear, this stuff right here, uh, aircraft remover, it's supposed to work pretty good. You put it on, let it sit, and then hose it off. So give that a try, see, see if it works. Well, it didn't take long, it's already bubbling. So uh, it looks like it's gonna work pretty good. I'll let it sit for maybe another, I don't know, five, eight, five, eight, ten minutes. I don't want it to get dry, so I'll kind of keep an eye on it. And then we'll scrape some off and then maybe hose the rest of it off. All right, I've been working on this thing for, I don't know, maybe two hours. Went through about a half gallon of paint remover, paint stripper. And I've got most of it down to the bare metal. Really the biggest the biggest part I was concerned about was like these little crevices and stuff that I didn't want to get in there and hand sand. Not so concerned about this because I'm going to hit that with the ACT, this whole bottom piece. Any big panels I can hit with the ACT and it's going to take it off and it's also going to give it that brush look I want. So I really wanted to get in all these little cracks and crevices 
and then I'll just go back in by hand and kind of clean those up a little bit. But that was a uh, that was my primary goal is just to get it out of all these little fine nooks and crannies. Like all up in here, all down through there. So yeah, then it turned out pretty nice. Got it kind of back on the chassis for now. Wanna start working on these inner wheel wheels and we'll probably start mocking up some of the shrouding that's gonna go around the radiator and actually come over and tie into these quarter windows. Went ahead and cut all this stuff out too. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to use none of that, so I cut it out, and this, ultimately, there's all this stuff up front will go, and I'll probably remake this pan section in here, too. Hope that gives you a little better idea of what my vision is for this, is, you know, with the strip body. It's kind of look I'm after, right? I want just super raw, clean... Um, right now I just have like this uh, dry film protected on it that kind of makes it Not as shiny or not as clean as it would normally look so before I Once I'm done with it I'll go through clean everything clean all that dry film protecting off it and then I'll shark hide everything permanently All right guys, that's all I got for you as always. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more this week. Go do work son